Hello, my name is Jim Perkins and I'm with the Network Operations Management Team at Microfocus. Welcome. In this demonstration, I'll be walking through a scenario that leverages diagnostic analytics in NOM. Let's get started. Let me begin with setting the stage for the scenario. 50% of all network-related incidents are due to changes in the network configuration, 50%. Based on that, we as network operators or network engineers need easy ways to see how configuration changes impact the overall performance of our network and ultimately our critical business applications. Simply put, we need to be able to analyze performance and configuration together. We need diagnostic analytics. There are numerous tools available on the network that will capture network performance. There are numerous tools that will help us with configuration changes, but that is not going to help us out here. We need one tool that will do both and analyze performance and configuration in a fully integrated fashion. Well, today I'm going to show you how MicroFocus NOM does exactly that. In this scenario, I'm a network operator. I'm watching my open key incidents in NOM and I notice a new critical event on the Cambridge router. It's time to do some investigation to see how I can resolve this. So I'll start by double clicking on the event. This is a high uh, output utilization event for one of the interfaces on the Cambridge router node. That can be a real problem. Let's open the node and see what else I can learn. The node also has a major alarm for a policy violation. This means that we have applied a policy to this node and detected that this policy is no longer in force. We can't have that, so before I dive into this resolving the policy issue, my instinct tells me these two incidents may be related. Therefore, I want to keep digging further into the interface utilization event. Next, I'll take a look around at this node. What is it connected to, and what part of the business could this be impacting? So. Open a layer two neighbor view, and then from here, let's expand out the hops to see more. This router is a gateway for one of our key ESX servers running some of our business critical applications. So if this high utilization incident is impacting the performance of the Cambridge router, this may be more critical than I had thought. To determine that, I can open the node dashboard for the Cambridge router. With a quick scan of the dashboard, I'm primarily concerned with the volume of data on this interface. So, continuing to drill in, I open the dashboard for the interface. This is the interface dashboard. Let's scroll down and see what we can see. Wait a second. Here's some useful information. Wow. Notice the history of this interface traffic. This blue line represents a configuration change on the network device. At the same time as this change was made, the traffic jumped dramatically. This makes it pretty obvious that this configuration change is related to the increase in the interface utilization. My hunch is that someone opened a port, but let me try to back that up with some facts before I start making changes. By simply clicking on this change indicator directly on my performance graph, I get some very useful facts. It opens a window. I can see who exactly made the change, even if the change was not made by MicroFocus tools. And I can see when it was done, and above all, I get a differential view of what the configuration change was. I don't care for this side-by-side -side view. I like a line-by-line -line view better, so I'll just click on this checkbox. Sure enough, port 3001 was opened. That's a policy violation, too. I don't think I need any more facts. I have everything I need to know. I know a configuration change was made to the router. I can easily see that this change was made right before we got a high utilization out event, and I know exactly what the configuration change was. So now I want to make a change to close this port that was opened. Well, this part's easy, so let's get at it. For this, I'll return to the Layer 2 Neighbor view. Simply right-click on the node, say Network Automation, Launch NA Command Scripts. I've already created a script specifically for filtering out port 3001, 
So this will only take me a few clicks. Now the script is running, and we ran the script successfully. Glancing over at my coffee cup, I realized this would be a fantastic time for me to take five and get a cup of coffee. Well, five minutes became 30. I ran into the operator who made the configuration change, which led to our issue. I gave him a hard time, and then he and I proceeded to get caught up on Stranger Things. But now I'm back. Let's take a look and see if our configuration change fixed this issue. To do that, let's return to the interface dashboard and take a look at the interface utilization graph again. We can see the indicator where we executed our configuration change, and we can easily see that the utilization is falling back to normal. So we were most certainly successful in diagnosing the issue and resolving it. Let me briefly recap what we just saw. NOM made it easy for us to see in one graph exactly how a network configuration change impacted performance. With a single click, we could easily diagnose what the change was that led to the issue, and then we effortlessly resolved the issue with just a few more clicks by executing a change script. This is the power of diagnostic analytics. And NOM is the only product on the market that has the capability of displaying changes on performance graphs. The only product. Thank you for watching, and please visit our product site at microfocus.com slash nom.